Hi, welcome back to the show. I'm Dr. Hammond, your host of Parenting Explained with Dr. Hammond. Today we have an amazing topic that affects every parent that I've ever met, um, and that is the topic of work-life balance. So we have an amazing expert here today, uh, Stephen Hart, who is the founder of I, or the Isles Media LLC, and he also has an amazing podcast, Trailblazers.fm, which is I think it's over 110 countries. Yes, um, it's been you know heard in, and he's been featured on Apple Podcasts, BET Center TV. He is also while doing all of that, <laughs> happily married. To his wife Kristen of 10 years and he has a beautiful seven-year-old daughter and three-year-old son yes. so welcome to the show thank you so much for having me great and so one of the things is parents are often very stressed frustrated by this idea of we have to do it all right as parents so we're trying to work and balance life and raise kids and I have seen your Instagram and all of your social <laughs> media and you are getting it right. So you have a perfect blend of business and family and life. So what is the secret? Everyone <laughs> wants to know, what's the secret? What are your tips for parents? Thank you. Thank you so much again for having me. Uh, so the first secret is that I don't do it alone. Right? Okay. Uh, you'll see pictures of me and the kids, mm -hmm. but I have an amazing support system. You just shared my wife, uh, Kristen, yeah. who next month we celebrate 10 years of marriage. Congratulations. And uh, we live in Maryland, and we are blessed to have her parents that live 15 minutes away. Nice. And her dad's retired, and they both have a very active part uh, with us, with our family, but definitely with the kids. Awesome. And so that's, and, and beyond that, we, you know, it takes a community to yes. raise a child, right? Yes. As the phrase says, and we live in a, a wonderful community in Clarksburg that uh, we've had so many amazing people who have become like family yeah. to us and are supportive when I'm traveling, like yes. we're, we're doing today, right? Right. Um, they're chipping in and, and sharing in, in, in the journey. Nice. And nice. Um, so that's one of the, the key things is that yeah. I don't do it alone. The other thing uh, is that I believe in being deliberate about being committed yes. as a parent. Uh, all too often when you ask somebody, I've asked so many people, what are your goals? What is, what is your vision? You have, yes. And too often we hear people say, well, they'll share the career. Uh, they'll share material things, uh, accolades and achievements that they're pursuing. Right. Uh, but I think you also have to be very deliberate about wanting to be an active parent. I like and, that. And wanting to be present. I, I say active parent, not necessarily a great parent, mm -hmm. right? Because we can't be a great parent all the time. Mm -hmm. We'll get frustrated yeah. when things fall apart and right. we fall short. Right. Uh, but I think those are the two key secrets, yeah, if you will. I love that. Right? At the foundation of it. Yeah. I, and I, I really love that. What you mentioned is to understand it is a community, right? They say yes. it, it takes a village to raise a child. So having that sense of social support is amazing. And also, as you mentioned, just being deliberate. Yes. Because oftentimes I think that I've heard from a lot of families that it, it's like we have to choose. I don't know this concept of either you it's kids first at the neglect of your business or your your work, or it's business, 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 and there's no time for the kids, right? So what are your what are your thoughts on that? On not really having to choose kids only or business only. Right. What are your thoughts on that? Right. I think <laughs> that, and this is a great question, especially for us as <laughs> entrepreneurs, right? Yes, definitely. But I think even if you're in a corporate, uh, you know, on that corporate ladder. Uh, I think it's important to, to realize that you can have everything you want, mm -hmm. but you can't have it all at the same time, mm -hmm. right? Uh, if, if we commit to giving everything at the same time, no one gets the best version of us. That's a great point. Right? Um, so it, it's important um, to Kristen and I, Mm -hmm. We communicate about these things. Yeah. Um, if, if we're pursuing a particular goal, I'm starting a podcast. Right. There's communication well in advance of to say, hey, you know, I would like to pursue this direction. Right. Or, you know, if we're pursuing uh, a particular job, right? Um, one of the things that's important for us is that 
um, we don't take on a job opportunity mm -hmm. that's going to affect our vision or, or what we want as parents. Right. Right. So um, there's always the communication in it. Yeah. Um, and, and making sure that, you know, whatever we take on, it's it's strategic. Yeah. In, I, in the I approach. like that. I like that. And like you said, because it is strategic. Right. Yeah. And and I've heard I, I think I've heard you say it before, too, that sometimes you do. you. Do, I mean, having a successful podcast like you have is amazing and spending it takes a lot of time right it, it takes a lot of hours it absolutely um, does so it might take away a little bit from the family but then there's other times when you say you know what i have a lot more time for my family so it doesn't have to be all at once and i like think said. i think the important thing there is to be uh, again coming back to the strategic mm -hmm. piece right uh my i'm very focused on career on the podcast on family uh but Personally, if I'm spending time with the kids, yeah. right? Uh, we, Kristen and I like to say, uh, listen with your ears. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, sorry, yes, listen with your, listen with your eyes. With I'm your sorry. Eyes. Yep, yep. Listen with your eyes, right? right. Um, yeah. So if I'm giving time to Layla, mm -hmm. uh, Sundays uh, we tend tend to have, and there are 168 hours in a week, mm -hmm. right? Uh, when we talk about balance, it's yeah. not necessarily giving you know a ton of time to family. Uh, but great example is on a Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. We've been doing this for three or four months. Yeah. Uh, Layla and I have an hour where it's me and her, mm -hmm. and we play a board game. We yeah. played a game of life yeah. that we played growing up. I've seen that. Right? Yeah. It's and great. I post this every Sunday on on Insta on an Insta story. Yeah. Uh, but that time is between me and her. There's no laptops. There's no cell phones. There's so be present. It's present yeah, with her. That's great. And um, and so that's very important to to make sure and they tune into that. Yeah. Right. They know that and that they, is important. They appreciate that. I'm sure. And like for children to have an opportunity to be with your family. Without, like you said, the cell phone or the laptop, the you know all the social media distractions we have yeah. is is wonderful. And podcasts happen at night. <laughs> yes, I, I do my <laughs> interviews at eight, nine, and ten o'clock at right. night when the kids are down. But between you know, I, I stop working no matter what around six p.m. Yeah, get home two hours between six and eight. I'm present for dinner. I'm present for bath. I'm present for nighttime prayer. It's a great. Um, and and they too. know that that time you know is going to be uh, spent with mom and dad yeah that's a home. great balance I, and i mean really i mean what motivates you because of course all of us are just you know overwhelmed at times so what do you feel keeps you going what motivates me there's so many things <laughs> uh so many things and so many people that motivate me um I've shared this before, you know, coming back to family, uh, I, I think my kids and, and my family motivate me. Yeah. Um, Layla was the motivation for me to start a podcast. Nice. Uh, and, um, you know, my dad um, is another great motivation for me. Uh, he has been an amazing father and has been the motivation for me to also pursue yeah. being, you know, I always joke around and I have it on most of my bios that I'm hashtag best dad ever. Nice. Right? Nice. Uh, so family motivating. So family Daughter. motivates me in a big way. Awesome. Um, and, you know, I'm from a family of entrepreneurs. My dad has run his own business for 35 plus years. Yeah. Uh, and so that's been a fuel, you know, in, yeah. in my own pursuits, uh, entrepreneurial pursuit. That's awesome. That is absolutely incredible. And we <laughs> have so much more um, to learn about Mr. Hart here. And so stay tuned. We will be right back. One of the things I, I would love to share is I, I think about uh, work-life balance is the importance of being in a marriage uh, with two working parents and uh, it's incredibly important uh, for that relationship and, and the process to thrive uh, for there to be really good communication and through everything uh, we communicate actively communicate about the things that are happening about uh, where each of us would like to take our career, uh, where we would like our kids uh, to go to school, um, what activities, everything uh, is 
is be operates best from a place of um, open transparency and communication uh, between my spouse and I. So if you're married, um, I highly encourage uh, that you have that open communication about your goals. Uh, if you're an entrepreneur or you're a corporate professional, um, everybody in that system, in your support system, needs to be aware of what your goals are and, and buy into that and, um, and be able to support you through that period of time where you're trying to get you know, specific goals accomplished. Um, so communicate, communicate, communicate uh, with your spouse, with other people around you who would need to be involved in making that happen. Communicate with your kids um, and let them know what you're trying to do as well. Uh, I'm a podcaster, I'm a marketing professional, um, I have a, a million different hats that I wear. I often joke as a Jamaican, um, we, we tend to do quite a bit, but uh, you know, that, that is uh, a part of who I am and I have quite a number of goals and vision and, and you know, for my legacy that I want to leave for my kids, but I communicate to them, I communicate to my spouse um, and I find that that helps quite a bit in, in having um, a really good family life. Welcome back to the show. We're here with our special guest today, Stephen Hart. And first of all, congratulations Thank on you. all of your accomplishments. So <laughs> again, the trailblazers.fm podcast is incredible. I've listened to many episodes and so inspirational. Over 110 countries, which is amazing. Um, you've been the Black Enterprise 100 Modern Men of Distinction. To have that honor is incredible. And just You've helped so many people achieve their personal brand. Mm -hmm. So what, with all of that said, what is next for you? <laughs> so we talked <laughs> earlier about doing everything, right? Yeah. And as entrepreneurs, we have so much that we want to get accomplished. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that I think is, is coming from this, we're now at 120 episodes. Nice, congratulations. Uh, and I, I wouldn't do just justice if I didn't share that. <laughs> Nikki shows my third guest oh. on the podcast, and mm -hmm. so I'm always grateful to have had you as a guest as Thanks. well. But I'm working towards a book. I, I find nice. that having heard stories of 120 people's journey and their yes. stories and their failures and their wisdom and yeah. their success has been amazing. And so I am looking at putting this together. All that you know, research and and what I found uh, to be what I call mission fuel, yeah. nuggets of wisdom. Uh, I want to put it together in a piece. And, and so I'm working towards a book nice. for that. Another thing that I've, I've um, been working toward is I'm a brand strategist mm -hmm. and I do marketing by day. And one of the things that I've discovered is so many people reach out wanting to be a guest on the podcast and they have amazing stories, but I Google them and nothing comes up. Mm. And so we're in 2018 and I find it very important that people need to have uh, an awareness and, and take a deliberate approach to create a personal brand and a nice. digital footprint that represents them when somebody searches for them right. on Google, whether it's a recruiter and you're looking for a job right. or you're an entrepreneur and you're on your own business and somebody's looking to verify and, and yeah. you know, that's a great point. Get a good vibe on your credibility, right? Yeah. Or media, right? Uh, like myself. And, and so, uh, I'm helping individuals. A lot mm -hmm. of brand strategists help businesses. Yes. I help people to develop their personal brand and their digital right. footprint. And so I'm working on courses. I'm working on, you know, we have a couple workshops that we do yeah. that help individuals to develop uh, at least a, a good baseline uh, presence online yeah. that and represents I, them. I think I, I agree with you. That's so important. I love your term digital footprint. Yes. It's so important, especially there's there's a lot of parents that I've met that are really trying to get into their own business or grow their business or have an entrepreneurial spirit. Yes. And I love what you're saying about building that personal brand, Absolutely. especially for parents who are so <laughs> busy, um, right? And just want to focus on their business. So yes. how can people, what's the best way for them to reach you and get in contact with you if they need uh, this opportunity? Because yes. I think it's amazing. My website is stephenahart.com mm -hmm. and from there, you'll have access to contacting me directly, nice. uh, as well as 
following me on social media and, and yeah. sharing in the journey and, and um, being able to engage. Uh, but I would encourage anyone wanting to, to reach out, yeah. to, to reach out to me. My email is steven at stevenahart.com mm -hmm. um, if you want to communicate directly. Yeah. And um, the podcast, you can follow us and, and listen to a couple episodes yeah. over at tbpod.com. Awesome. And uh, yeah, I would highly recommend um, that podcast as well because it's just, there's so many inspirational stories and I've, I've learned a lot from it personally. And I think really in, you've interviewed so many successful African-American entrepreneurs and just incredible individuals, really. What, what do you, what have you found to be the most valuable piece of advice from all of those interviews? Like I said, 120, which is amazing. So um, what's many. the most valuable, <laughs> valuable piece of advice that, that you found? As it relates to parenting, um, Sean Dove, uh, just a couple people, yeah. there's so many, but you know, Sean Dove's uh, reminder that legacy building begins and ends at home, mm. right? Uh, we can help a th you know, thousands of people and we come home and our home life is, is not operating as it should. Mm -hmm. um, that was something that stuck with me right. two years ago. Uh, another uh, Kenneth Reyes, um, Major Kenneth Reyes shared with me recently that um, no CEO or entrepreneur after 30 years of a successful career uh, has a, a, a speech on his way out that says, I wish I worked more. Yes, very true. Right? Um, but, and you know, after we've, we've left um, our footprint, yeah. right? Uh, we need to make sure that we've taken care of home because mm -hmm. that's who we will end up spending that time with, yeah. right? So. How precious is that? I, I love that too, just yeah. to really think about those precious moments. Right. Um, with our children and with our families. I think that's very, very valuable. So, um, so we are going to take a quick break and when we return, we're gonna hear from how busy um, Stephen Hart is and what he does um, for self-care and taking care of himself. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. One of the things I, I would love to share as I, I think about uh, work-life balance is the importance of being in a marriage uh, with two working parents. And it's incredibly important uh, for that relationship and, and the process to thrive uh, for there to be really good communication. And through everything, uh, we communicate actively communicate about the things that are happening, about uh, where each of us would like to take our career, uh, where we would like our kids uh, to go to school, um, what activities, everything uh, is, is be operates best from a place of um, open, transparency and communication uh, between my spouse and I. So if you're married, um, I highly encourage uh, that you have that open communication about your goals. Uh, if you're an entrepreneur or you're a corporate professional, um, everybody in that system, in your support system, needs to be aware of what your goals are and, and buy into that and, um, and be able to support you through that period of time where you're trying to get you know, specific goals accomplished. Um, so communicate, communicate, communicate uh, with your spouse, with other people around you who would need to be involved in making that happen. Communicate with your kids um, and let them know what you're trying to do as well. Uh, I'm a podcaster, I'm a marketing professional, um, I have a, a million different hats that I wear. I often joke as a Jamaican, um, we, we tend to do quite a bit, but uh, you know, that, that is uh, a part of who I am and I have quite a number of goals and vision and, and you know, for my legacy that I want to leave for my kids, but I communicate to them, I communicate to my spouse um, and I find that that helps quite a bit in, in having um, a really good family life.
welcome back. We have been talking with the amazing Stephen Hart, and I absolutely love everything that you're working on. You're working on helping parents and helping individuals with their personal brand. You have an amazing, inspiring podcast. You are an amazing family person, successful marriage, uh, great children. So you have been doing so well. So I just want to first celebrate you and thank you for what you're doing to, you. to help individuals. Um, but we always talk on Parenting Explained uh, about, about self-care and taking care of ourselves because we can be really busy and overwhelmed as parents mm -hmm. at times. So what do you do uh, for self-care? Great question. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's something in there. <laughs> right? I mean, so the, the challenge is that there's not really a great deal of time left in a day. I wish I could get 26 hours. Me too. Day, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but... Maryland is a beautiful state to mm -hmm. be in, and so if uh, whether I'm spending time with a family or not, you know, yeah. beyond work, mm -hmm. um, I, I love to get out, especially this time of year, right? Um, yeah. There's so much to do, uh, and so I love to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Eating so, is good. You know, we need that. If I can get somewhere, uh, you know, have some good, great Maryland crabs. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I love to bike. You know, we have some mm -hmm. great parks by where we are, and I yeah. love to get out. And, and spend time outdoors. Yeah. Uh, Layla loves, uh, she's very active in yeah. sports. So, you know, oftentimes you'll see videos of me and her yeah. on a b ball court. Right? Yeah. Uh, or, you know, kicking ball around, you know, helping mm -hmm. her with her soccer. Yeah. And so, self care for me is sometimes reading. Mm -hmm. I love podcasts, I'm a podcast consumer. Yeah. And uh, so, I, I consume quite a bit. Um, through audio, yeah. even audio books, mm -hmm. uh, and that's that's really yeah, some of the ways great. that yeah, you know I, I can shut down. Yeah, and sometimes that's it's even just being quiet. Yeah. You know, if, if I'm in a long car ride, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes don't even need the radio. Yeah, you know, and no, that's it's just good. time to be quiet, be still, yeah. and allow some margins. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good thing. But and these are these are great examples, and the reason why. We always have this uh, this information about self care for parents is because you may hear something that Stephen has said and want to incorporate this in your own life. Um, so I mean, biking or spending time in nature or just being quiet. Um, you know, spending like it you is. said time with yourself in a car without an audio book or without the radio on. We need on that quiet be, time too as entrepreneurs, yeah, right? Right. Exactly. To be able to for for your creativity yes. to operate yeah. at its highest yeah. you have to have that, that right and quiet it makes space. you a better parent yeah, I mean, absolutely. it really does to, to to give the best version of yourself yes um, well what other re what other resources you've shared a lot today yes. um, what other resources would you say is available for parents to really maybe that are just struggling with this work life balance thing um, what resources would you suggest you know one of, the, there's a book, mm -hmm. there are a couple books actually around the very same message yes. that I would highly recommend to anyone, parent or, or not. Yes. Um, Essentialism okay. and The One Thing. Mm. Uh, both really emphasize the importance of, uh, as uh, Essentialism puts it, um, put, putting a focus on the vital few yeah. from the trivial many. Nice. Right. Nice. Uh, so it, it's it's about really being clear mm -hmm. on, you know, from all the noise, yeah. what's most important. Yeah, that's so and and, and so putting your focus important. there. Yeah, is what that's, you focus on grows. Yeah, that's very true, and that's such a great tip. Those are really great books. Um, it sounds like. Also, I listen to a great podcast yeah. for my dads. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> repping for my dads, there's a, a podcast, um, Dad Tired. Oh. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> Dad <It's> tired. <laughs> dad tired, and I love it is yeah. the title. And it's a great podcast uh, by a dad who's a, a Christian guy, and just talking about his own journey yeah. as a dad. Um, yeah. So, and there are great podcasts out there for moms too. Yeah. If, if audio is your thing. <laughs> yeah, but I like that you mentioned that too because we do have a lot of resources that we often share on the show for moms. But I really like that one specifically for dads. Yes. Um, because dads need resources dads too. Dads rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so, th so thank you for sharing those. Um, and I mean, really, like you said, just taking the time for yourself. If it's a podcast, if it's a book, getting information and taking care of yourself is so important, especially as a parent. So are there any other things that you'd like to share today or any other pieces of wisdom that, that you have for us? So many. <laughs> <laughs> but 
quickly, um, don't try to, to live up to the hype of Facebook and Instagram. Mm. Um, our responsibilities are to our marriage, if you're married, um, to your, your children, to your, your family, and to your career, yes. right? Um, and if you get caught up in the others, yeah. right, um, you are either going to get absolutely sick or broke. Mm -hmm. uh, Kristen and I oftentimes look at optics of what other, you know, other the Joneses yes. are doing, and the math doesn't add up. People mm -hmm. are living beyond their means, and, and we're chasing after that. Yeah. And it's not it. We, we need to focus in on what's most important at home mm -hmm. because no one else will. Yeah. And at the end of the day, just realize that you don't have to be perfect. We're not perfect. Um, you know, most people live paycheck to paycheck. We parent month to month yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right? uh, we don't always know what's for dinner we don't always know um, you know who's going to do homework or yeah. you know who's going to follow up after an activity um, but we do our best yeah. and our best is better than most yeah and i love that what you said to perfectionism because oftentimes as parents we sometimes think everything has to be perfect or we think that what we see, like you said, on Facebook or Instagram or some other social media is real life when oftentimes it's really a highlight reel yes. um, of what people are doing. So, so I thank you so much. So tell us one more time how to get in contact with you. Yes, you can follow me at Steve Nehart. Uh, my website is stevenehart.com and you can email me if you need to at steven at stevenehart.com. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank for you for having today. me. I really appreciate it. <laughs> uh, so tune in next time to Parenting Explained with Dr. Hammond.